Hey, what's going on everybody? Ryan Huggins here. And in this video, we are going to be assembling the Wavestorm Surfboard. Hey everybody. So in this video, we are going to go ahead and assemble a Wavestorm Surfboard. Now this one has actually been assembled once before and we just disassembled it because we are going to put on our new leash which we did upgrade to this premium leash here. And this one is gonna be really nice because this leash actually has the built-in swivel. So for those of you that have ridden a, wave, a wave storm before, you do know they are notorious for the leash that they come with standard. They get all twisted up on both sides and it makes it very difficult when you're in the water to get, to get untangled. So sometimes you'll get tangled up there. So this is the original Wavestorm leash that it came with. And we are going to be replacing that with a premium leash today. And then I also want to go ahead and show you how to assemble your board. Also, just so you guys are aware, we are having a contest in this video down below starting right now until the end of July. All you have to do is comment, like, and subscribe to this video and this page. If you put a comment down below and you thumbs up the video and you subscribe to our channel, we're gonna be giving away a free surfboard leash, one of these premium leashes here. And uh, that way you can put it on your uh, Wavestorm surfboard. Or if you do not have a Wavestorm surfboard, you can find the in the description down below a link. You can click on one and get yourself a new surfboard and you can also get yourself uh, a new leash we'll put the link in the description down there as well just in case this is after july and you did not win that is totally okay but we are going to go ahead and assemble the surfboard today and then also apply the new leash to both of our wavestorm surfboards so here we go so first things first uh, like i said you are going to get a leash in your actual uh packet you're also going to get three of their fins right here. So this is a three fin thruster surfboard. It's going to be eight foot long for this specific model. Now, I ordered two of them from uh, the internet and this is the blue and white stripe. And that one is called the Sunburst as far as that goes. But let's go ahead and plug this in and get these going. So what you'll do is the fins will actually curve out the back. So you'll plug in the fins. This is nice and easy. They just go right in like so. All right, so you'll pump those in. When the board is new, you will have to put some force to pop those through uh, as far as that goes. You will then turn your surfboard around. You also want to have a handy dandy quarter with you because that's how we're going to actually screw the screws in. So it does come with, when you order your board, it does come with all of this in the pack. It comes with the screws and uh, this is obviously the leash uh, section there. But these, they do actually give you two extras as well in case they break or whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take these, plug them in. And it screws in nice and easily. And then you'll hear it start to kind of sink into the foam. You can move on to the next one. And you do want to actually get them sinking into the foam pretty good. Obviously you don't want to tighten it down too much because then you can actually puncture the foam. So it's real simple, nice and easy. Just spin those in, get it nice and tight. Now with these, the band is a little bit tight. So when you put it in there, it may be a little difficult at first, but it'll stretch. So go ahead and put that in there. Put that in. Now, if you are using the regular leash, what you will do is you'll feed the bottom knot in through the provided loop in here and then just loop your leash through the hole. All right, so this has been twisted so many times that it even wants to twist on its own, but you'll pass it through the hole and pull the leash through and voila. And then that will be on, as you can see here, 
on this board, which it still has the original leash on there. All right, so you can see how that is all twisted in there, but that's how it'll go on the board, okay? So what we're gonna do now is bust open our new leash here, which this is really exciting. Um, I actually also have purchased another board, which is the Catch Surf Skipper. That's a six foot six. And that's where I learned about the whole leash thing. Um, I'm new to surfing relatively and didn't realize that there was a more upgradable leash. But after buying a much more expensive surfboard, you can get a Wavestorm surfboard, 150, 200 bucks. The Catch Surfboard was 400 plus you have to also buy the leash for that one, which was 30 bucks. So let's see here. There we go. So you'll untach the leash here and then voila, the strings come out. All right, so now what you'll also notice on this new leash, it is a nine foot leash rather than the seven foot leash before. So it's gonna be a little bit longer, which that's totally fine. It is a premium lightweight leash, so we shouldn't have any issues there. All right, so what we're gonna do now with this leash is we're gonna tighten down all of these pieces first. All right, now we get our handy dandy quarter again, screw it in. Become kind of tight, just give it another quarter of a turn or so. There you go. And I do like to try to line up the actual slots so they all run the same way, but that's just me. Alright, so these screws are going nice and tight, and again, it will sink into the foam a little bit. Now, we're gonna grab the bottom piece here. And this one does come with the knot that you can use. What we're gonna do here is try it a little different. So we're just gonna feed it through the bottom that's already there. Like so. And then fold it over the top of that. Fold that over the top of that. Now that's on there. So now we got the swivel in the bottom. And we've also got the swivel on the top. So we have no issues there. So we'll try it that way. The other option is going to be obviously taking the, I think that's gonna work actually, all right. The other option is gonna be taking the knot and feeding that through and putting it into there. So. That is the Wavestorm surfboard assembly. So you see how to, that's how you're going to get it. You're gonna get the fins, the screws, and that uh, custom, the regular leash there. Uh, this one is obviously upgraded with the custom leash, but that's how easy it is. You get it in the mail, you put it together, you go surfing that day. The Wavestorm surfboard has been phenomenal. It has been one of the best things that I've ever purchased in my entire life. My dream since I was a little kid was learn how to surf. And now I have been able to learn and I've had a blast. So I'm really excited for you as well. Don't forget to enter that contest. I hope you are the winner. Don't forget, all you gotta do is like with the thumbs up, comment down, in the, down below, and also subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day.